Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time, you know, stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning sub to my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, drop a line or if you've been with me for a while, drop a line again. It's just a need to hear from you. Okay. And if anything that you're needing, you know, needing prayers to when you're going through to get to hey i'm sending that towards you a million times fold you know if you feel like the video just give you a vibe or a zen that you truly need to give a thumbs up share you know tell somebody about the channel it would be greatly appreciated and you know um like i said anything that you're needing to get you know even even if you don't need prayers or just needing vibes you know we all need that you know just to keep going you know it can it can get hard out here on these streets to change because it's challenging us to do a lot and that challenge is not always easy so it is always, you know, helping you to be on that vibe to become a better person. So, you know, sending that towards you, whatever you're needing towards that, I'm sending that towards you a million times. So, and, um, you know, hey, if you're in here, you know, trying to do something that's not ungodly to get me towards the where I'm trying to be and try to become better at that. Hey, I'm sending that right back towards you a million times. So I said, mom's going to add healing and peace. And, um. Uh, yeah, and so what I'm going to get to my, my video content of the day, it'll be um, Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, we have enough out here of trauma bonding. Why don't we normalize power bonding? Let's stand in comfortability of that. That is so daggone true. You know, you can be like, oh, you know, I know such and such and such. You know, we don't went through some stuff and, you know, we, we, we both don't went through that. We can really connect on that. That's fine. But you need to add on towards that. You know what? We both done went through neglect and abandonment. So why don't we show each other how to empower ourselves to be happy with oneself. Take care of self first. You know, don't be loyalty to things that's going to make you a slave towards that. Don't be doing anything where, you know, I'm, I'm just proving to this person I want to be this and this and that. And, it, and it's not giving you growth. It's holding you back from being the best you because you're trying to, you know, push change where change is not wanting that. And these are different things when you're standing in your power saying, you know what? I've been through these different things in my life and you know and this is just like where you're you're not gonna allow yourself and I had to be able to stop myself on that like I said I'm very transparent you you getting in a growth where it's so easy to be in that vibe of always speaking always breathing into the past of pain you know being able to allow what hurt us haunt us you know and it, it's it's not easy for you to get out of that vibe and saying well you know it, you know, in our minds at time, and I'm not saying everybody's mind is like that, but in our minds where we're, you know, when we talk about it, is that we're showing, you know, this is what I went through. These are the different things that took place into my life. You know, and this person did that, and that person did that, you know, and I allowed this to happen. And it's, you know, when you can allow that to come in into play without saying, you know what, cutting that short. You know, because I don't want to breathe pain of my past in the life. I'm trying to be stuck in the present. Not be stuck in the present, but be in one within the present because I'm going through a rebirth to create a power in my future. Those are the different things. I want to stand in my power of that. Being comfortable and normalizing that. You know, it'll be those different things where you can really allow yourself. And this is where, you know, I tell y'all, you know, I don't make videos every day. Well, I make a lot of videos and then I just choose when I want to upload them or when I can or whatever. But then I sit with oneself and assess myself because it would be just like, what are you needing to create to be a better person? What are you needing to be one within your peace? What are you allowing yourself? To, like you got that beast in you and you tame it every day. You're not allowing yourself to react towards different things. You see it, what, what you're, you're being selective about what you're putting your energy into. I'm standing in my power of peace. I'm standing in my power of love with oneself while I'm loving other people to do the same. You know, those are the different things that we come into life about because that's when you speak in the power. It's, it's easy for us to be in that negative vibe. It's easy for us to hurt people. And those are the different things. It's easy for us to take it personal on why people do the things that they do. And it's like you, you can't you 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 when when a person wants to be teachable and you you know when we allow ourselves to tell universe 
you know what? I want to be open towards change. I want to create better in my life. I want to have better in my life. And universe is like, oh my God, we were just waiting for you to do that. And then we wonder on why, okay, why do things take so long? Or why, you know, things keep, you know, wanting to piss me off? Or why does people keep doing this? You're open to be teachable. How are we going to lose? How do we want to win if we can't lose? You know, like I was telling y'all about my song about luck. Her name Luck. And the song is higher. When I tell y'all, you know, if you're all about songs that just really motivate you. That girl, you know, I don't know how long she's been doing this. But, I mean, she's been out here as far as I know. I just found, discovered her a couple of months ago. And, you know, I had to give sister a shout out. You know, anytime I, I, I can get get powerfully impacted on people i want to go ahead and give them their credit due you know there's a lot of different people you know where i listen to different songs that really empower me like you know there'll be different times that i've gone through different things and it, it, it felt i fell short you know i was constantly i was giving to people and i wasn't <clears throat> getting that back but those are the different things that take place into my life where i can learn from that i can get power from my pain it whole purpose you know, and it'll be the, towards those things, and it'll be just like, you know, not trying to preach to nobody or place judgment on anybody. But it, it's just like we all go through moments of pain into our life, but it's just up to us when we're going to allow ourselves to want to be in the power of what knocked us down. Because a lot of times we don't realize until you get through it, because there'll be sometimes I have my emotional moments and just start crying and just be like, this is the reason why I had to go through this. You know, this is the reason why this is taking me to where I need to be. But it needed me to have my direct attention for that. That's why a lot of times we don't like being alone with ourselves. But it's just like, it, it's not for us to be sitting up here talking negative towards ourselves or breathing that towards it. But it'll be just of those times where you can say, you know, where it'll be just like, oh, I'm nothing. I'm nobody, this and this and that. And it's just like, we don't breathe that. We don't let somebody else that's the opinions of what somebody want to teach us how we work and that's not how god see us that's not how universe see us the people that truly love you see the potential in yourself but it'll be at that time where we have to be able to see it in ourselves hello and hi you know we have to be able to see that in ourselves and it'll be different things you know that um i spoke on here you already know i keep it real and real it'll be a lot of times i say things that people ain't gonna like that's fine you know, I'll be do, do, doing different things where I can say I like to be around people that challenge me. But there's a lot of times where I, I don't like the challenge of where, you you know, it, it'll be. I remember uh, how my uh, my auntie, my, my, my spiritual auntie, Fumi, she said that where I like people that come in to me, but they're with me through everything. And it will be those different ones. And when she say in, in her vibe of, of you of saying that, be with me when it's like, oh, girl, you doing good. Or, oh, you pe preaching power. Yeah, you standing in your queen vibe, you know. But this, but, oh, okay, you were being negative about that and being low vibrational. And you took that personal. But I see you had a powerful comeback and understand why what that situation was teaching you. And that's what she's saying. But don't be that person. You don't want to be around nobody. Get real silent. When you standing in that good, you standing in that thing where you supporting yourself. I like to be around people where they see I'm trying to succeed and like, you know what? I'm I'm with you on that. You know, or giving you different tips. That's why I love to be able to do when somebody come to me and you know and I say I understand what you're going through. And it'll be just the, you know, it'll be those times where we can really look negative at ourselves when we really have gone through things where I'm this, I'm that, and it has some kind of narrative a negative narrative to it and it's just like those are the different things where you know you stand in your power where all those different things that sent destroy you made you a, a bomb ass person but i sent up here saying you know what even though i had neglect i still show support towards people that that you know know the worth of my support not the ones that sit up here and they you know they take 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 and they you know they have no problem with you know you know taken out but ain't add no deposits to it that means you need to block that you know you, you need to block that that's just like on, on on your deposit that you know on your, your your bank account you know if things is like at that point where 
you know, they close your account where if you know you riding on that and you, you just riding off of that, uh, I forgot that bank fee when you get it, when you get $20, you know, f- fixed and then it's like you got to, you know, or they give you a $250 allowance towards that and they allow you to do that so you can pay stuff because they know people come up show at times, you know, like I'm in Georgia, so we say show, you, you come up at times, but you have to be able to put some of that back and that's just like with life itself. I don't want to be around people that are doing that and it'll be like that I can sit here and I can know I can be nice to somebody and not get that back you know and it'll be at those points where okay then that's my fault it's like how is that my fault because because you allowed yourself to entertain that I've been there that means you gotta change you don't like what you're getting change what you're giving I had to be that you you heal the enemy on the inside so that outside enemy can't touch you you know, it challenges you. I like things to where, you know, it'll be at that point where it's just like, Roz, you know, I've seen the I've seen the hunger in you. I've seen that animal that wanna be a better person. I wanna um I've seen that person that really just be in that motivation to really empower people. But today, what what you slacking off of, sis? Why are you you doing that? You know it'd be different. Or then you you know where you seeing somebody trying to poke. They trying to trigger. That's different when somebody's trying to empower you. You know, I, I ain't got time for that trauma bonding with anybody. There will be a lot of times where I had to deal with that with people on clothes and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I'm used to that. But then it will be those things that challenge me when there are people that know my pain and ain't trying to take me back there. They know the road way to that. And they know where it felt like, you know what, people wanted me to stay there. Because that was more comfortable. You know, there will be a lot of different things where people, you you know, I've heard before and I, and I hear it right when I say, people don't like what they can't control. People reject what they can't afford. And it'll be a time where, why do people reject me? You know, and that can be a very hurtful thing. That's when anybody, nobody don't like rejection, but it's how you deal with it. It'll be different times where it's just like, okay, well, I see you on that low vibe where you feel like my, you know, like I've, I've, I've said that before, where my best, my blessings can't become my blessings and yours can, but mine's, the, mine, yours is definite, but mine's impossible. You know, where I, I want to be able to be able to do that. I'm going to reject that because I see that's that vibe that you want to stay on. That's what you're trying to breathe into my life. I'm not going to allow myself to do that. So I reject that. And there will be God like, okay, you don't went to that situation. It was like to this morning when I heard on IG this morning. You don't went to your, you know, you don't went through what you went through. Your 20, you know, 20, 20, 21, 22. But all those things that, that you went through that is not going to guarantee you. And it should not even be being a determination. All these things I went through though, through those years is not going to be through that. I had to learn through that. I'm stepping in my power of that. These are the different things that I went through to get to, to get through. You know, you had to go through those things to get to become a better person. If you did not go through those things, how are you going to learn? We want to win, but we don't want to have that vibration of losing. We want that, you know, that glow up, that show up. But we don't want to take that vibe of failure and setback. You can't have those things without the other. You can't. You know, you can't win without, you can't lose. If You want to win all the time, but you can't lose. You know, and you have to be able to lose. That's be, you know, if you always get good things, when will you ever appreciate it? Because you're always assuming it's going to always be that way. And we okay. You know, when we get in that vibe of growth, even that's when you know you're, you're, you're on soul mastery. When even when your circumstances have, has not yet changed, but the way you deal with them do. And those are the different things it can be aggravating. And those are the different things when I see that there's different things that upset my soul or it doesn't want me to do right. I'm going to use that as my motivation or I'm going to stop allowing that to get to me. Or I'm going to stop allowing that to be my focus on what is taking place in my life that I have no control over. I'm going to use that as motivation. Allow myself to focus on what I can. You know, those are in your standing, in your power bond. Those are those different things that I want to normalize. I want to be comfortable in sitting in my power. And those are the different things where it is really challenging me and not to allow when I see that it upsets me, come back, sis, come back, sis. You know, you needed that today. And it's like, okay, this is a different thing where am I going to allow this to be my focus or just like that challenged you. 
Did it need to have And it challenged you to where it's showing you Did it need your focus? No Did it need your reaction? No You don't. You shouldn't be reacting to nothing Unless it's something positive Like oh my god I reacted towards I finally won this I'm always in that person I'm always that person that's always congratulating somebody Now it's time for me to get congratulated Or I'm always giving good encouragement Even when I'm standing in my, my situation Where I don't know where I'm going Now finally I'm there and you're knowing you challenge yourself through those different things to where you got out of that comfortability of trauma bonding. It's good. It you it, it's not good. Oh, let me let me retort. Let me say that again. It's never good to love bomb. It's never good to be on that vibration of codependency, trauma bonding. I've been there. I've done that. I have the experiences, the X's, and the god daggone t-shirt and the daggone scars and the and the and the license plate to prove that. And I have those different things. But then I'm allowing myself to be that person to where I'm not going to be constantly talking about, well, this person did this and this person did that. I had to get out of that. And I'll be just at this point where I'm not going to get, I'm not dragging out the story of what I went through because if you were there, you were there. If it was meant for you to know what I went through, you're going to know. But you're going to see what I went through to get to where I needed to get to. And it created something to be empower me to do more because I'm allowing my experience to be my example to help other people do the same. Just to be able to let you know you're not the only one who's going through something. You know, there'll be somebody and it'll be just like, well, that doesn't make what I'm going through any different. No, it's not. But just to let you know you're not in, in this alone. There are some people that speak about things that they ain't even going, that they're going through heavy and they don't speak about that. It's hard for them to do that because they're so used to people that that doesn't listen to them but try to strategize. How can I make that person stay in that situation worse? Because I know if they come out of that, they're going to make something of themselves and I can't see that happen. And that's sad. I don't, I don't, I, I can't deal with cake people. You know, like I learned that a few days ago. I said, what the heck is cake people? They want the cake and eat it too. Uh, no, uh-uh. You can't sit up here and be wanting the good, bad, and, and then you have people going through the happy and the sad. No, and you can't expect that. Those are the experiences where you had to go through to where, okay, we can't keep repeating this situation. You know, we don't want to keep speaking on that situation, but being able to say, you know, I've been there. I've been in my low vibrations, you know, and I love it when somebody can show me their scars and show me how they healed from it. Not being able to say this is the scar I got because somebody did this and this and that. No, this is the scar that really penetrated my soul and it made me heal it too. That's what I want to do, you know, because it, it, I'm not trying to breathe in what I'm trying to put to rest. You know, that would be just like, you know, you trying to resurrect the dead and only God can do that. You know, like wake up, Lazarus, rise. I'll leave that to God. I ain't trying to play God on nobody. But it will be just those things. I want to breathe life into my empowerment. I want to bring, bring life into people to say, this is only temporary. Even though it may feel like it's forever, this is only temporary. But it's only choosing for you to be able to say, this is only temporary. What I'm going through is taking me to a better place. I had to be able to go through something. And I had to use that. I had, you know, different stuff that I've been going through lately. But I want to be able to empower myself to create. Use that as my ammunition to be able to say never again. Or I, I, I needed that. Or switch up, sis. Bring your power back. Give that back. And that had to be those different things that I had to go through. And it would be, the, do you know that you're becoming a better version of yourself when you got constant stuff that's coming back to you, back to back to back to back? And you be like, hold up, wait a minute. You know, but how are you dealing with it? That's that's why I want to know. How you doing with it, son? How you doing with it, daughter? How you doing with it, man? How you doing with it, woman? Queen, king, how you dealing with it? And it will be just like, sometimes people just need somebody to understand them. You ain't trying to have them preach to them all the time and stuff like that. And, you know, and that's not my thing because people are like, Ross, you preaching? I, no, I ain't preaching. I'm just speaking truth into my life because it's like, it's not easy being in that positive vibe all the time. It's not. Because you will have your moments to where I'm going to be mad or I'm going to feel like, you know what, I have every right to feel the way you do. You do. But don't, don't, you know, don't be bleeding on people that didn't cut you. Hell, even the people that cut you, allow yourself to take it, you know, 
keep that band-aid on there and say, I'm going to heal this because, you know, I ain't going to keep allowing you to cut me. I'm not going to keep allowing my mind of what you did allow me to keep bleeding. That's standing in your power. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that. I ain't trying to, you know, I'm trying to keep it short and simple. Be able to push that out to get that out. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the videos, y'all. Thank y'all so much for the love wishes. I have not yet responded yet, but I'm about to. And I forgot the, okay, what? Infinite knowledge. Much love to you. Essie the Real. Much love to you as well. Drea W. Much love. Hillary Elizabeth. Thank you as well. And um, much love to y'all. You know, I, you know, if I have not mentioned you, I apologize. But I really appreciate the support, the views. You know, the times y'all take out to really, you know, drop comments is truly appreciated. I love y'all so much for that. You know, and just supporting that. You know, we can all grow together. You know, we trying to become better people. And just to be able to connect with people that want to do the same as I is truly a blessing to me in every form. So, um, you know drop a line like and subscribe tell somebody about the channel even share it'd be greatly appreciated whenever this decides to come out i hope you're you're you stay blessed and favored you're going to be and i'm going you know i'm keeping that into your life whatever you're you're trying to get through to get to you know hey i'm, I'm sending love and blessings towards that way towards you be safe and responsible with everything you do even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity birds vibes frequencies is greatly appreciated it gets people further and just because you're doing that because you want to see better out of people it's going to take you even further too so much love shalom peace god bless love you and namaste holla